Okay, welcome back, Painting with Gary. Step number two, we're going to do the sky. First thing I would like to do, I want to keep that sky as wet as I can for as long as I can. So I'm going to spray the back of this paper. Ah, let's take these clips off and really soak it up. Spray bottle. Really get it soaked, maybe all the way down to the horizon line. And what's cool about the soaking is that it helps your paper stay on the board without buckling. And you don't even need clips, but I'll put those in. And it stretches it out a little bit too. So what I'm afraid of, however, is this board uh, falling backwards. So now, will I, what brush will I use? Uh, kind of a wet, so we're gonna wet the front of that a bit. And let's, okay, we don't want to wet the snow banks because those are going to be white. So let's paint all around and I'm wetting the paper everywhere except the bright whites. That will be our snow. So we're designing, designing, that'll be a bank. We step back to see the glare, see if I've actually covered this with water. Okay, I'm, I'm half done actually. Because once I get that water on, I'm just gonna let the paint do its thing and kind of float around and that'll get us started. I'm gonna let this dry just a bit. You can see it start to buckle over there a bit because the back of that is getting dry. Get down on you, I want you to lay flat. Because even though it's snow in winter, I want the main subject kind of to be the trees. The trees outlined against, in contrast with that, uh oh, getting wet there. Isn't this fun? Watching somebody get a paper wet? Yeah. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Boy, I don't know, that, that hacky brush is a little big. I think I'm gonna go with the small brush. All right, now what colors am I gonna use? All right. Uh, I want kind of a greeny, uh-oh. Let's move this stuff out of the way here. Uh, a cool but warm, if you know what I mean. <laughs> A warm cool. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm going to mix a bunch of colors together. Bap, 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 bap. I'm kind of a rhythm painter, and I'm just going to mix something until I say, ah, ah, that's a little gray. Let's add a little more blue into that. Let's get a little more blue and maybe a little bit of purple. Purple it up a bit. You know what? That brush ain't working for me. That brush ain't working for me. So let's try something else. Okay. And the other thing is, with watercolor, you're going to try to put on your bright colors first. The main thing is, if you want this to be colorful, and I could always go over that, bright colors have got to go on first. Because you can never add those later. You cannot add color later. Just doesn't work. Okay. Oh boy. I'm liking that. That's pretty good sky there. We can let that dry and paint back into that. That's, that's enough for a sky. Does it have enough variety and interest? Mm, that's awful white there, right in the center. Maybe not the best place to have. Uh, try not to go back in too much into your sky. Put it down and leave it. Put it down and leave it. I think I'm going to maybe put a little contrasting alizarin coming from there. Oh. Just go for it. Let it drip. That's it. That's it. That's my sky. Dab up that. And then for the water, if 
for the water. You want to reflect the sky, so let's go with the same mixture. Oh yeah. Be careful you don't hit those snow banks. It's a rock there. Uh, we can go, we'll go over that later. We paint over that rock. Maybe another snow bank down here. Maybe a little, uh oh. Maybe a little darker. In there. Uh oh. Wow. All right, these white pieces here. And what's this here? So, well. If you want that to be water, you probably want to keep it green or blue. Yeah, okay. Now, we got our first wash. I'm gonna let that dry. So we'll get the hair dryer out. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're six minutes already.